Hello everybody, welcome to a very special episode here on Fatboy Productions. I am James, aka Fatboy504. Now, I know we need more whammy, more whammy episodes. Finish out the season, but I'm busy. I've been I'm dealing with work, and I will promise to at least have some more whammy episodes. Probably a little bit more over the summer. I'm not too sure yet, but hopefully. But I wanted to do something very special. Now, March 24th, this is when the video has been recorded. It's my birthday, so I wanted to do some a very special birthday episode like I did last year with Pressure Luck. Now, me and Trivia doesn't really get along. I don't like saying Trivia because I, I honestly, I... I'm bad with speech. I, I think I have a speech impediment. I like I like jumble words or like can't really say much and I stutter a couple of times. But I decided to do a trivia thing. Now I originally wanted to do Jeopardy and I went to do Sports Jeopardy in honor of Alex Trebek. But logistical reasons couldn't let me do it. So I thought of many different ideas, and then I came up with this thing, because this was an old software I had uh, back in the blog TV days, and this is also in honor of Mr. Regis Philbin, who also passed away in 2020, so enjoy this episode of Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire? <laughs> Tonight on Fatboy 504's birthday special, one of three contestants could walk away with $10 million. This is Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire? And now here's your host, James Doe. Thank you, Jose Cazares. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. This is a birthday special. Why not? You know, I want to give away money. Now, it's going to be more than Jay what I gave Jason Myers and Whammy. I'll tell you that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be lots of money. All right. Jose, tell us who is the first contestant on Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire? Well, James, our first contestant comes from the great state of Ohio, and he's a pastor, Russ Bielefeld. Oh, goody. I get to be first. Oh, Lord of mercy. Russ, welcome. How are you uh, doing Thank today? you, James. Oh, <laughs> a little nervous being first. <laughs> you, what's, what's there to be nervous about? This is just I'm millionaire. You. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just, <laughs> oh, yeah, not just millionaire, super millionaire. So, yeah, the, <laughs> so, yeah, nerves are going to be about uh, tenfold here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's, not that, it's not that difficult, okay? I'm going to tell you that. It might be the same as regular millionaire. It's just as regular, as regular millionaire, just a little add extra stuff. But as you know, you, you see the money tree right now. It's all the way from 1000 to $10 million. You have to answer 15 questions. Just like who wants to be a millionaire. All right? Mm -hmm. And no, just note, you do have your three lifelines. Your 50-50, your phone a friend, and the ask the audience. Now, when you get up to the 10, the, the, I'm sorry, not the 10, the $100,000 mark, that's when everything changes. And I'll explain <laughs> that. I'll explain that more later. Now, I do want to introduce you to a rule. This is not going to be done on any game shows, but just here. All right, Russ? I'm going to tell you this. First five questions is easy. But if you <laughs> miss one of the first five questions, you have to give me the amount that you miss. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. So... Yeah. It's not that much pressure, but again, these are easy questions. Okay. So, um, okay. I do want to ask, uh, you, you are a pastor. What, like, do you currently 
a pastor right now, or you just do it for like a? Oh yes, I've, I've been I've, I've been ordained for about eleven years. Okay, all right. All, all, of course, thanks to the pandemic, I haven't been inside of a church in a while. Yeah, that's what I was kind of trying to wonder. But all right, are you ready, Russ? Yes, I'm ready to go. Are you ready, audience? Woo! Let's Woo! play. Who wants to be a super millionaire? All right. First question for thousand dollars. What is the high scoring center of a dartboard called? A tiger eye, B bullseye, C cat eye, or D bird eye? <laughs> it's a bullseye. E. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. For two thousand dollars, here's the next question. Submarine, sorry, club, submarine, po' boy, and Cuban are types of what? A. Sandwiches, B. Wrestling hold, C. Military code, or D. Cigars? Hmm. I'm getting hungry already thinking about this. <laughs> A. Sandwiches. Final answer. You sure it's not wrestling holds? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I want to see, see the poor boy hold, but no, you were right to say. Just... <laughs> yeah. For, for three... <laughs> for $3,000. Wow. Where would a stockbroker most likely work? A. FedEx, B. MX, C. WWE, or D. Uh. On a form? <laughs> Okay, that is okay. The American Stock Exchange is known as Amex for short. So the answer is B, Amex. Final answer. I mean, there could be a character on WWE that's a stockholder, but you are correct. <laughs> See, these are easy questions for $4,000. In football, when the ref puts his two arms straight up, what does it mean? A touchdown, B first down, C holding, or D illegal motion. And I tell you this as a referee, if you do get this wrong, I will smack you. <laughs> uh, no, don't worry. You might have to pay him double the amount of you meant. Oh this. yeah, exactly. Well, I, I think for now my money is safe. Uh, I think this is going to be a touchdown. I will answer. Yeah, this touchdown. All right, for five thousand dollars and the first threshold. Complete the title of the 1998 Steven Spielberg film, Saving Private A. Brian, B. Dylan, C. Ryan, or D. Raymond. <laughs> okay, a lot of similar sounding names here, so I wouldn't want to be very... Okay, it is C. Ryan. Final answer. And, you sure uh, it's not Raymond? Yeah, you sure, but uh, he's right. <laughs> Congrats, you don't have to pay him a thing. Yeah, you don't have to hey. you don't have to worry about paying me. Everything else on here, you cannot walk away with less than five thousand dollars, but you don't have to worry about paying me if you get any of the questions wrong. Yeah. So, are you ready for your ten thousand dollar question? Yes, I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Bring down the lights and the music. What is the name given to the act of running naked at a public event? Uh, <laughs> a stripling, a stubby springing, C staunching, or D streaking? Uh, <laughs> yes. It makes me think of that old uh, Ray Stevens song. They call him the streak. E streaking. Final answer? That is my final answer. Yeah, you're right. So much for, so much for TV friendly material. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, here's your next question for twenty thousand dollars. Where would you find the letters Q W E R T Y? <laughs> a at the door of the uh, Pentagon. What? B on a computer keyboard. C on a digital watch. Or D and U P. Sequels. Uh, I don't know if this would technically be considered uh, cheating, but uh, considering that most of us are sitting in front of a computer right now, I think well, all we have to do is look down and, and know that's uh, where uh, the QWERTY is. So, uh, yeah, B on a computer keyboard. Final. Final answer. 
I mean, I don't think it counts. I don't think it counts. It, it's not cheating. I mean, everybody should know where it is. So yeah. it, it, that's not. If you don't, you're not a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for thirty thousand dollars. Here's the next question. Who is the self-proclaimed the king of all media? A. Don Imus, B. Howard Stern, C. Mur uh, Ruf Rufert Murdoch, that pronounce it? or D. Donald Trump. <laughs> well, I think we know who it's not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's about who it is. Yeah, I, I, I think we should all know this. Uh, yeah, one, one of the greatest radio hosts of all time, B. Howard Stern. Final answer? Final answer. Oh, yeah, I do like to apologize for putting the streaking question in that uh, that question because I do know you're a pastor, but that's how it pops up. Hey, come on. I, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> but you're correct, Howard Stern. King, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, for fifty thousand dollars, here's the next question. At one time, you would have to travel to Wichita, Kansas, to visit what? A. McDonald's, B. Wendy's, C. Pizza Hut, or D. Taco Bell? Uh, well. Answer that I thought it was, unfortunately, did not come up. Uh, well, one time you have to travel to Wichita, Kansas. Was what? Okay. I was. I, I mean, I thought it was White Castle because I was pretty sure White Castle was founded in Kansas. But since that's a choice, forget that. Well, Wendy's was uh, pretty, was uh, founded up in Dayton, just up the road from me. I think I can eliminate that one. I think where McDonald's started out. I know their headquarters is in Illinois. Um, I, think, I think the original McDonald's restaurants were the McDonald's brothers before Ray Kroc bought them were in California. Ah. Oh boy. All right, let's let's ask the audience, and we'll see if uh, All right. they have a clue here. Well, just to let you know, this audience is the computer-generated audience from the game, so whatever it is. Okay. Oh, okay. So, no problem. All right, here we go. Let's see what the audience say. Put the audience using A, B, C, or D vote now. Well, fifty-six percent says C. 21% says A, 18% says B, and 5% says D. Yeah, I don't really consider Kansas. Um, I mean, when I think of pizza, Kansas is one of the last places I think of. Considering that I've already eliminated A and B, uh, I, I, yeah, I think... Uh, I think we're gonna go with uh, Pizza Hut. Final answer. <laughs> oh God, I'm really gonna kick myself in the end of being talked about. Pizza Hut. Final answer. Now, I found this out from a friend because this was also in one of my Jeopardy games. And by the way, all the questions are coming from the second edition of the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire board game. Okay. Um. But I found this out during the Jeopardy version of it, of the, of the board game. And he used to work at Pizza Hut, and he didn't know that Pizza Hut is where it was in Kansas. So it was in Wichita, Kansas, Pizza Hut. Thank you, audience. All right. For $100,000 in the next safety location. Here we go. What color was the football in the original XFL? A brown, B black, a red, black, and silver, C blue and white striped, D white. Oh. 
I saw one game of the XFL 20 years ago. Uh, and believe me, the football was the last thing that I, it was the last thing I remember from that game. Uh, well, that's phone uh, whoever, uh, yeah, whoever, whoever the virtual phone a friend is. Okay, but I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna help you out also. You can choose somebody in the MVG chat room currently right now to also help you out on it. I'm gonna click on this one and it could give me the game pick, but also give you a chance to pick somebody that's in this audience, okay? Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm trying, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking on the list trying to think, uh, yeah, trying to think of anybody here who would know this. I mean, I don't, uh, God, Paul knows everything. I wonder if he'd know this one, too. So, All right. All right, let's see. So, if Paul is available, I'll ask him. Okay, if Paul's not, you can choose somebody else. But here's the first, here's the game. I'm available. Okay. So, here's what the game would say after 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, so... No, 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 and then, no oh, after, no, we'll, after, we'll, after the 30 Yeah, we'll hear the... We'll hear the, what the phone a friend says first, and then we'll. Okay. Here we go. You yeah. agree, uh -huh. disagree, whatever. 15 seconds completed. And he says, he thinks it's B. I think it's a B. And. Okay. <laughs> Disconnected. Okay. So, Paul. Yes. This is Fat Boy from Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. How you doing? I'm doing okay. All right. So if you, you see that the game phone a friend say it's B. Uh huh. Do you? So the color, the question is what color was the original football? No, right, the football yeah. the original XFL was. So mm -hmm. do you agree or disagree with that? I I agree with that. Um, for Russ, if, if you want. You can consider doing the 50 50 if you want to save your lifelines then probably go with it i i believe it's red black and silver i know that there's some red in there i think but totally up to you man if you want to go go further I, you know that's up to you if you want to save the 50 50. but i think b is good wow yeah i wish i could be more help i know i know I do think it's B, though. Of course, you can't still get that 50 50 and walk away if it's not for sure. No. Mm. There's a 45,000. I'm, so, I'm so, gosh, thinking of whether, <laughs> whether or not I actually want to. Oh, boy. You saved me for like a more academic thing. No, but... I know, I know. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use the 50 50. I hate hey, doing it, but I want to get to that 100,000. All right. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one cor the correct answer and an incorrect answer. B and C. Still up there. Yeah, well, I think, well, Paul mentioned that there was some red in it, so. I mean, if, uh, yeah, let, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now kind of regretting using 50 50, but I did want to get to that 100,000, so I'll agree with the phone a friend and Paul and go with red, black, silver, B. And I'm going to make that my final answer. $5,000 riding on this test. Uh, yeah, I even watch it from the WWF. Uh, Alright, so I, 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 I will let you know that there was issues with the original football when they had it, when they first got the football. It wasn't waterproof. It was basically slippy as hell. And it was because of the black dye in the football. So you got it. <sighs> yep, it was red, black, and silver. Oh, no. Alright, Russ. <sighs> we tell you this. You have no more lifelines. Or do you not have any more lifelines? Remember, oh, yeah, that, that's because, right. I get the two new ones. Because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he cannot, Russ cannot leave it up less than $100,000. But he can win millions and millions of dollars as we go 
into the next dimension. Final phase. Let's get it. Remember, you have four or five more questions to go, but you do get two new lifelines. The we the three they call it the three wise men back in the days, but because a political reason we could call it the three wise people. But oh yeah, but three wise professionals. Mm -hmm, but that would also become the ask the host lifeline, and I will give uh, you the answer of what I think it is. Yeah. Um, and Ow. as you see, there's the t the X two. That's Third. the double dip, which you. Double dip. Which means that you can answer the question twice. So if you get it wrong the first time, you do have another chance to get but it right. This, right. But bear this in mind. If you yeah, but question, I have to answer. You have to answer. You That's right. Yeah, once, once, you're not sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. you cannot just walk away after using the double dip. All right. For half a million dollars, let's play. Who wants to be a super millionaire? What invention was Queen Elizabeth the first the first to receive? A wristwatch, B fountain pen, C perfume atomizer, or D bifocals? Well, I know which of these it is not, because uh, Queen Elizabeth I think lived in the 16th century. Uh, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals, and that was 200 years after Queen Elizabeth died, so we can eliminate that one. <sighs> Wristwatch, fountain pen, perfume atomizer. Wow. What? A group of answers. Hmm, I'm trying to think how long of watches. Well, I wonder what is the watch. Oh, wristwatch. Yeah, have, have wristwatches been around that long? Fountain pens. I uh, see. I know she was talking about fountain pens, not ballpoint pens. Well, let's. Uh, yeah, let's ask the expert, experts host, or whatever you want right, to call that. So we're going to show you what the experts say, and then we will find, and you'll find out what I will say. Okay. So okay. here's the first one for the here's the experts. Are we going to call it the three wise experts? Makes it more better, right? <laughs> so, when adventure was Queen Elizabeth the first to receive? They, well, the three wise men, they still say men, but as you know. And they say they're very sure about it. Oh! Alright. Alright, now Russ, without looking at the answer. I don't, like, me, honestly, I don't know when, but you were saying the 16th century. My focus, as you write, was Benjamin Franklin, so that's not right. It was between either A and C, because I don't think, I think Fountain Pence was invented back at that time, but I don't think she was the first to receive it. But I would have said, uh, I, honestly, I would have said C, but I think they're right with A. But that's me, personally. All right. I mean, wristwatch was the one of these four I was leaning toward. The question is, do I want to go for it? No, I mean, it is. I mean, it is. I mean, it is free. It is a free answer here. So you can't lose it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, they were thinking the way I was thinking, so let's go with it. Let's go with wristwatch. Final answer. Final answer. They are the wise men for sure, or wise uh, experts, because you're right. There you go. Normally, for normally, this is not where we go for a million, but this is for a million dollars. Here we go. Oh. For One million dollars. Here we go. Let's twelve. What did the red stripes? on the old-fashioned barbershop pole stand for? A. Tomatoes B. Fire C. Apples D. Blood I 
I think back in the back in the day, if I remember correctly, barbers used to be like doctors and stuff. Before the choices came up, I thought it was you know something medical related. And and what is there? That's nah, it's not gonna. I I don't think it's gonna be the foods. It can't be the foods. Ira is a little worrisome there. Uh, but before the choices came up, I was thinking blood. Oh boy. Yeah. We're going to risk 400,000 on this. That's a question. Mm -hmm. And do you want to use your double dip also? Yeah, that's another thing. If I end up, <laughs> yeah, if I end up being wrong on this, I will obviously regret not using that. But usually when we get to big money questions on the real show, if there's an answer that I, I, I call out before the choices came before the choices come up, it usually ends up being right. So Whew. Yeah, let's uh no guts, no glory. I'm I'm gonna save the lifeline and go for it. I'm I'm gonna say D blood. Final answer? <sighs> Final answer. Come on, oh boy. Come on, One million dollars. One million dollars. It's the red stripes on the old fashioned barbershop sand bud. We were right back right after this. We're both going to be super moon right after oh. this. Oh. Uh, oh. Billion bucks. <laughs> Russ, you, 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 you're kind of worried over there. Yeah, yes, I'm in a lot of pain here. <laughs> Just to let you know, this is for a million dollars. I know. This, I know. Is usually, this is usually what the top prize is, but... I know. <laughs> Russ, what would you do if you had a million dollars? Oh, give a hundred thousand to my church and go on vacations, save some and all that. Alright. Hey, that's hey, that's good. And I gotta tell you this, Russ. I think you might need to donate to the church because you're right. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Dollars. <laughs> but you are not done yet. You're not done. <sighs> This is for two point five million dollars, oh. and you still We're have ground, and you still have the double dip. Oh, no, so, I'm glad you saved it. Right? Had you used it, that would have been a waste. Mm. Like, no. uh, like but, our, our late by grade. Uh, but but you, you did say. mention that you knew it right as as it did, but you were hesitant on it. Uh, let's not be hesitant anymore. This is for two point five million dollars. Here's the next question. Oh, number thirteen of fifteen. The Templeton Prize is awarded in what field? A. Law. B. Archaeology. C. Religion. Or D. Dance. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of people named Templeton. Templeton, Templeton. Yeah, yeah. I keep thinking Templar. No, it's not Templar. It's Templar. Oh boy. I have to be honest with you. I have never heard of the Templeton. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sure if I sat here for about twenty minutes, I could think of somebody named Templeton. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I don't think it's I don't think it's worth even using the double dip on this. I I'm I'm out of here. You're out of here. <laughs> yes, final decision is I quit. All right. If you had a choice, 
what will you have said? Oh, no. Oh, no. You're really going to do this to me. <laughs> you, have to, you, have to, you have to take a guess. You oh, no, guess. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my Even God. Even if you could use the double dip on the... Yeah, I know. That's... Yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't... <sighs> Templeton. <sighs> Well, my choices would have been between law and religion. That would have been your double dip choices? Yeah. All right. Let's see what the answer was. Religion! Oh, oh, no. No. You, no. you would have used the double dip. You would have used the double dip. You would have gotten it. And that, uh, that, that, that thud you heard was me dropping to the floor. Just, I can't believe it. Just uh, let you know. Just let you know. Just to let you know, it was broadened out uh, more to more living people, but when it first came out, it was working in the field of religion. And guess who was the first winner? Mother oh. Teresa? Mother Teresa. Oh, wow. Mother Teresa was the first winner of the Templeton. What? Hey, you won a million dollars. We, You can't One take away that. You got a million dollars. He's a millionaire! But he's a millionaire, I tell you. So... Good job, Russ. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jose. Woo! After this commercial break, you will tell me who's the next contestant. Who wants to be a ticket millionaire? Right after this. Oh, oh, oh. We got an exciting game with Russ walking away with one million dollars. Jose, who's the next contestant? Well, James, our next contestant was has was a phone a friend in Russ game, but now it's his turn to take the hot seat. Paul Shear. Paul, oh, how you doing, my friend? Doing okay. Now you you saw how Russ did and you were the phone a friend. Now, how do you feel to be in the hot seat? Uh, it's going to be hard to top that. <laughs> that's just that's why I was. You got wanting. a million dollars to to uh, beat, basically. But remember, I have to remind remind you, you do have the three lifeline 50-50, Ask the audience to phone a friend, and then we get through the next dimension uh, when we get there. But remember, first five questions are easy normally. If you get it wrong, you have to owe me the amount that that you miss. So. No pressure, right? No pressure. All right. For $1,000, here's the question. Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Princess Leia are characters from which film? A. Star Trek, B. Dune, C. Star Wars, or D. The Bumpet movie? <laughs> that would be Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. I will wow. tell you if, you, if you get that wrong, all the Star Wars fans are going to beat you up. <laughs> For two thousand dollars, here's the question: Which of the following did Bill Clinton play on TV? A. Captain of the Enterprise. B. Saxophone. C. Beach volleyball. Or D. Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he talks about Jeopardy. Um, but he, he did play the saxophone. I forget on what late night show maybe at Central Hall. But B. He played the saxophone. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, wonder if, be, he, wonder if, if he played the yakety sack, Steve. It, it'd be no. very interesting if uh, a president did play Jeopardy, but you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've gotten. They present <laughs> All right. For $3,000. Which of the following is most likely said after someone sneezes? A. Cowabunga. B. Kazoo Tight. C. Eureka. Or D. Fallout, man. <laughs> the the uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, although nowadays somebody would probably say quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. He's Four, not wrong. He's not wrong. He even stuck. Four thousand dollars. The acronym no. DIY stands for Do It What? A yourself. B yesterday. C youngster. Or D, yo yo. <laughs> That'd be do it yourself. Yeah. DIY. Yep, do it yourself. For $5,000, here's the question. Speaking of Muppets, 
finish the title of this hit song from Kermit the Frog. It's not easy being what? Oh. A. Miss Piggy's boyfriend. B. On TV. C. Green. Or D. Me. I'm really sorry, James. I, I'm not gonna owe you money, but it's uh, green. Color of money. Hey, you're fine. I, I was expecting anybody to owe me money anyway. Yeah. Hey, how appropriate. <laughs> when the answer turned out to be right, it, it, it turned out to be green. Uh, Ironic. Now, remember, $5,000 is what you... The least you can walk away with. Nice. And now, here's for $10,000. Which move begins play in an ice hockey match? A. Face off, B. Kick off, C. Break off, or D. Drop off? That would be a face off. Final a. answer? Final answer is A. You sure it's not a kick off? Oh, wait, that's football. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> that's football. Yeah, that's, that's correct. 10000 For it. <laughs> For $20,000. Here's the next question. Which candy slogan is entertainment for your whole mouth? A. Nerds, B. Starburst, C. Skittles, or D. Pop Rocks? Oh, uh, okay. So Skittles is Taste the Rainbow. Starburst is like, uh, it might be that. I thought it was like an explosion or something. Pop Rocks is something else. I have a gut feeling on this one. <laughs> But I want to ask the audience. Here. All right, computer audience. What do you say? I don't Easy, want to B, C, or D. Vote now. Fifty-four percent oh, says boy. D. Pop rocks. Thirty-seven percent says Starburst. Eight percent says Skittles, and only one measly percent say nerds. <laughs> um. I guess that actually does make sense for Pop Rocks now that I think about it because the fizzling and the entertainment for that, that actually does make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. oh, I wish it didn't say the Star Wars, but I do think like Starburst is like mouthwatering or something water, like being like really juicy. Um, if I lose, I lose. I'm going to say D. I'm going to go with the audience there. Final answer? Final answer. Now, before you reveal if it's the right answer, James, I will say this. Starburst is not correct. It's unexplainably juicy. Ah, oh, that's it. But I mean, you're right, though. You were right in not assuming it, but that is correct. I mean, he just basically I painted like the that. picture that he was right. The hell? I know, right? <laughs> just painted the picture. Yeah, right? I, I didn't, want to, I didn't want to say it until after he picked the answer. All right. For $30,000, here's the next question. What does the Japanese word sayonara mean? Me. A, oh, B, B, goodbye, C, please, or D, thank you. Uh, thank you is arigato. Please would be like, um, oh, please, please. But uh, anyway, it's like, it's sign R, as you say when you say goodbye. So it'd be B. I forget what please is in Japanese. Or something. Any, it's, it's B. Final uh, answer? Fine. Final answer. Goodbye. The only reason why we know yeah, that is because please, if you... If you want please is gonna got please is gonna got shimas, please speak is dozo. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. If you didn't watch I I uh what was it the I Survivor Japanese game show? Was it that that was that one? <laughs> Sayonara Mob <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Damn, well, I missed that show. Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Here's the next question. <laughs> Which part of Pinocchio does Dimity Cricket represent in the Disney film? A. His shadow. B. His dreams. C. His ego. Or D. His conscience. Okay. You get this wrong, or you get something <laughs> No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't watch, if he'd ever seen Pinocchio, I don't, I don't believe him. It's been a while. I, uh, I think I have a gut. I'll, I'll do the phone a friend. All right. Also, you can pick somebody from the audience in uh, MVG to also uh, help you out. Who you want? Uh, I think I'll return the favor to Russ. Russ, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. All right. Let, let's see what the phone a friend on the game. All right, here we go. Phone works. <laughs> All right. 
The game phone of friends says A. What's A? Uh, his the shadow. Screen's not back. Oh. Sorry about that. 41 days Oh, well, that's not very good. The game. The game does not want to be seen again. Okay, yeah. The game phone of friends says A. <laughs> And they it's can, but it's only 41% sure. Oh, wow. Russ. Well, I'm just saying, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure my mic was working. Uh, do not listen to your phone a friend on this one. Okay. You are the phone a friend. Have, I do, I, you are. Yeah, I, I, I do have the correct answer for you. I, I, oh, before the choices came up, I, I knew it was. It, it, it's his conscience. He he meant don't listen to the game phone a friend. <laughs> I mean, listen don't to listen, listen to your phone friend. friend, but you are the phone a friend. So yeah, it's on the phone list for you. Yeah, no, don't listen to the <laughs> game phone a friend. Exactly. <laughs> listen right. to that phone a friend. <laughs> All right, Paul. You heard the man. He final. Yeah, he's right. Uh, yeah, the game weirded out on that part. But yeah. yeah. But there you go. But you got $50,000. That's right. Yeah. All right, for $100,000, here is the question. Which of these were not one of the original 12 disciples, the apostles? Damn it. A, Paul, B, Matthew, C, James, or D, John? Hey, look, two of the choices is basically you and me, Paul. Yeah, I guess you know. <laughs> yeah, If Bertman was there, it'd be three. Well, I could have used Russ again for this one. Um, I have an idea. There's no false apostles. James was one. Um... Yeah, I'm not entirely 100% sure, so let's use the 50 50. Alright, 50 50, please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and an incorrect answer. Oh, I got eliminated. Oh, darn it. Uh. <laughs> Paul and Matthew. Oh, God. Well, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, if I get it wrong, I get it wrong. Um, I'm thinking... You can't walk away. I'm not walking away. Can... I'm going to go with my own name here. <laughs> go with my name, sir. Is that, your... Say... Is that your final yeah. answer? Yeah, why the heck not? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Oh, 90,000 riding on this. Oh, boy. Was Paul not one of the original 12 <laughs> apostles? I'm going to say, I'm going to say I'm one of the 12 apostles, but it's James the Greater and James the Lesser. There was two James in there. For some reason, yeah. um, Matthew and John also wrote the gospel, and Paul is a one of them. All right. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I gave you fuck that one. Yes, you, you, you <laughs> are. Yes. You got How ironic. Yeah, I know, right? Your name <laughs> saved help you win $100,000. But now it gets more tougher. Because, welcome yeah. to the next dimension. Five away. Five away from $10 million. Remember, you got two new lifelines. Ask the experts, or the, the three wise experts, which is also becomes as the host, because, you know, you don't trust There everyone. are no three experts. There's no three experts, there's the computer, and then there's me, so I'm okay. there. And then you got your double dip, which gives you two opportunities to guess on a question. But remember, you cannot walk away once you use that double dip, okay? Yep, yep. For half a million dollars, here's the next question. 
Which two Scrabble letters are worth 10 points each? Cool. A, Q and J? No. B, J and X? No. C, Q and X? No. Or D, Q and Z? That would be Q and Z. J is worth 8. And X is worth 8. So it's definitely, I'm like pretty sure it's D, final. You are a smart man. You know that? One. Because you're half half a million. Wow. Wow, that was the quickest uh, half a million ever. <laughs> easiest, wow. easiest for him. For one million dollars, here's the next question. Oh, Jason, do not help him out. Wood is usually found on top of the nears. A honey, B confectioner sugar, C chocolate icing, or D ginger crystal. I'm pretty sure you put uh, sugar on top of them. I don't. Well, Jason's gonna kill me if I get it wrong. Apparently, but I'm pretty sure it's B. Um, it's a uh, like a New Orleans favorite, whatever. Uh, but yeah, B. Let's go with B. Final. Man, he is New going Orleans, for it. New Orleans favorite, whatever. Yeah, just right. drink right. down the beignets, why don't you? I know, right? I'm, I'm, I'm offended. I shouldn't even give him this. Right. Uh, I should give him this million dollars. Declare wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Free ball. Booty, Free ball. Booty. <laughs> Should we go to break it, or do we keep? Or no. can we continue? We could no. continue on. All right, uh, all right. Why not? Two, Hell with the brakes. For two point <laughs> right? five million dollars, here's the next question. Frank Sinatra left whose orchestra to become a solo act? Oh boy. A. Tommy Dorsey. B. Benny Goodman. C. Archie Shaw. Or D. Harry James. I have an idea. Um, let's, let's, uh, start by asking the expert here. All right, the three wise experts. All right, let's see what they say. Who the hell is screeching back there? Oh, God. Get shotgun ready. Do you think it's C or D? We think it is C or D. Okay. Um, we are not very sure. That's not uh, helpful. That's not helpful. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. It ain't going to be helpful for me neither because I... Because I never knew Fink Sinatra was... Uh, but Fink Sinatra was before my time anyway. But... Except Richard. Well, that's true. But... Now, I'm not even going to go look at the, the the answer thing on here. Uh, but I think it's not either C or D. I think it might be A. Okay, I my gut was A. Like, And I don't think it's Benny Goodman. He was a clarinet, a famous clarinet player. And I don't remember him, like, being part. I mean, like, yeah, he was in, you know, the swing thing. You know, he was in for that. But I don't, my gut is telling me A. Um, I want to use the double dip. All right. Can you use the double dip? Final decision. Final decision. All right. All right. He's yeah, got to go for your two and a half for. million dollars or a hundred grand. Okay. Uh, should we start with the one that I think it is or not? Um, yeah, I just have a... Yeah, let's start with it. Okay, let's go with A, please. Final. I think it's a waste of a lifeline that you went with oh, the double no. dip because you were correct. Oh, oh well, you got it. When I saw it, I was like, uh, bad uh, news, the double dip's wasted. Good news, you got it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Oh, okay. you made history because you're the biggest winner on the internet. Nobody had reached this level. Yeah. Far. Yeah. Could have if I had more confidence in mm -hmm. that double dip. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, for five, still I haven't walked away yet, so yeah, technically, yet, yet, I'm still going for it. But <laughs> this is for oh. five million dollars. Oh, Here is the I'm next question. So the penultimate one. From which state 
oh. was Jeanette Rankins, the first woman to what? be elected to Congress from oh, A. New York, B. California, C. Montana, D. Massachusetts. I, I think I know this. I think I know this. Um, you risk picking them on. This is two point five million know, dollars. Know, you're I, risking I, here. I think I know this. I think she was from out west. I really, I think she was out from west, and I think it was. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm gonna gamble here because I think I know this or I've heard this somewhere. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm gonna actually say Montana C final. Oh, oh boy, he's a risk taker, folk. Yeah. He's a I know Shirley Chisholm. I think she was from New York. She's the first African American. But I think Jeanette Rankin. She's out west. We will find out before, if look, he's right. Yeah. Right. Before after the choices, ca- yeah. I will tell you. Before the choices came up, I thought it was Wyoming. Yeah, I thought because Wyoming's was not a choice. I know. Right? <laughs> well, we find yeah, out we what the answer right after Judge Bumble wins. We got now. bills to pay. Now back to some more super millionaire with a very expensive five million dollars with James Doe. Paul, you are gambling a lot of money. I'm a gambling man. What can I say? You have the possibility to lose two point four million dollars. Nothing venture, nothing. Do you say Montana is the final answer? I said Montana. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going for $10 million. Oh, my God. Oh my God. He, he got it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I am scared of Paul. It, His it actually happened on the birthday special. This is the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. This is for $10 million, and you have no lifelines left. Yeah, of course, you can walk them. away with the five million if you're not sure. Yeah, because if you're wrong, you lose point nine million dollars. <laughs> oh, for ten million dollars, here's some question. The last question: Which U.S. president's wife was the first foreign-born first lady? Okay. okay. A. Andrew Jackson. B. Okay. John Taylor. C. John Quincy Adams. D, James Moore. Okay. Um, I think I also know this. Um, oh, boy. I, th- I think I know this because, well, it's definitely not Andrew Jackson because he, like, he was like, no, Sally Hemings with Jefferson. He, like, was heavy something was, and she's definitely American or from the States. John Tyler is, he was, uh, let's just say he raised a lot of children. Uh, he still, I mean, he still has like a great, 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 great grandchildren. So he's definitely not foreign. Um, so it's either James Monroe or John Quincy Adams. James Monroe, fifth president, heir of good feeling, common feeling. John Quincy Adams, of course, the sixth president. Um, and then you know Martin Van Buren was technically like the first American, but he's after he's eighth. So I think, I think it is John Quincy. Um, I can't remember what nationality he is, if she was like Dutch or, or something, but I, I'm pretty sure that it's John Quincy. I, I don't think it's James Monroe. Um, there's not too many, like, maybe, um, um, well, I mean, like, he's in the painting uh, with, like, George Washington crossing the air, but, yeah. I'm going to say it. I'm going to go for it. Because I feel like I have a decent enough inkling. I think I'd kick myself if I didn't go for it and it ended up being right. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say, see John Quincy Adams. Um, yeah, I'm going to make that my uh, final answer. Well, regardless of what happens, this has been one heck of a game. No matter what happens, Paul, you've done yourself proud. Thank you. Sam. No, again, I had an instinct before the choices came up. And my instinct was one of the four choices that showed up on this question. What was yeah. your instinct? One, my instinct was John Quincy Adams. Oh, okay. Well, then, it, then it's right. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we don't know. But here, we don't but know. I'm going to tell you this. The original question was, 
which president wife was the original the only foreign born first lady the well, only reason Trump why Melania. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's why i had to change it from only to right. first because nice. yeah. but yeah. you my friend what you could do if you have 10 million dollars um, I think I'll probably donate some to Russ's church. I feel like that's the least I could do. I, I'm um, going to tell you this. That church is rich because he just won $10 million. Yeah. Oh, oh. He's done it. Wow. He is the first super millionaire ever. Paul Sear, oh, congratulations, yes, sir. You just won $10 million. Millionaire. Yeah. Yeah, he was thinking Dutch, but I, I think that John Quincy Adams' wife was actually British. British? I okay. think, yeah. Very bad. Wow. wow. Yeah, Van Buren was born into a Dutch family. Yeah, he's the right. first technical citizen. Was, yeah. First citizen. yeah. But yeah, of course, he was after AQA. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, however you get to the right answer. Exactly. However you do, but. You know, knowing those last two questions really helped you out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, so. Paul, congratulations. You are the first ever super millionaire. Thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me play. My goodness. Thank goodness. you, Ross. We break, break it. We're breaking ground, please. Let's see if we're trying to get back to the next one million dollars right after this. <laughs> Who's our final pair of contestants? That's right, James. We are ending it up with a bang with a pair of contestants. It's the team from Louisiana, the star Cedric Weatherspoon, and his partner, Jason Myers. Jason, you you, you try to win more money from me? You only won fifty thousand from me. It's only fifty thousand. <laughs> and a car. <laughs> Hey, welcome both to you. Cedric, how you doing? I'm doing all right. So, Cedric, Jason, remember, get one of these first five questions wrong, you owe me the money. All right? That okay, that's not good, Jason. All right, here we go. For $1,000, here's the first question. Okay. Uh, which of these is an international distress call? A, RSVP, B, FYI, C, SOS, D, call the audience! Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> a is for fun to see the play, B is for your information, C, SOS, which is the international distress call, so C, final answer. You sure it's Absolutely. not call the audience? No, that's only if you're distressed. That's <laughs> only the studio distress call. <laughs> All right, for $2,000, what is lost when you land on income tax based in Monopoly? A, your turn, B, money, C, the game, or D, your life. B, money. Fucking money. <laughs> Final? Yep. Yeah. You get it ready. Look at your bread and butter. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, Jason. And Cedric, if y'all get this 10 wrong. 10 or 200 bucks, whichever one is I, more. I, I'm going to tell you this. Jason and Cedric, if you get this wrong, I will drive to where y'all live and smack y'all. Oh, <laughs> what is the English translation of the French phrase body crawl? Really? Really? <laughs> A, let party. B, Fat Tuesday. C, final answer. Or D, mow the lawn. Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Fat Tuesday, come on. You see, Jose, this is why I wanted Jason to play. <laughs> my citizenship in Louisiana just right and all that I would have to move out of New Orleans and all right for four thousand dollars for what company does Wiley Coyote get products to help them trap the Roadrunner a Acme the Apex the Monaco or the Acme no ain't no A Acme for Acme final answer and for five thousand dollars Strong. Which of these is the shape of a huge sign? A mm -hmm. angle, B circle, C rectangle, or D upside down triangle? It's the upside D. Down triangle. The I got a square. <laughs> no, no, no. You're about to get a square upside your head. 
Alright, nobody has to owe me money. That's a good thing. Now, I owe everybody money. <laughs> but remember, y'all can't walk away with less than 5000 And here's the next yep. question. The sport of sumo origin originated in which country? Really? A, Japan, B, Thailand, C, Russia, or D, Iran? Alpha. Seriously. <laughs> hey. Seriously? This is, this is what the card says, okay? Yeah, it's not his fault. Japan, final four. Yeah, Blame the writers, okay? Shit. Yeah. You can pause For $20,000, here's the next question. Okay. If an event is said to be black tie, which of these does the event, uh, which of these does mean, does it mean the event will be, sorry. A mournful, B relaxed, D formal, or D mentally? Formal. Yes, yeah, formal. Formal, C, final answer. Yeah. The correct? I'm not sure what the men only can be, any of the strip club. <laughs> For $30,000, here's the next question. Nah, that'd be no time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who is referred as the godfather of soul? A Jimi Hendrix, B Wilson Pickett. C. James Brown or D. Sam Cooke? Wow. I feel good! <laughs> he made a C. James Brown, come on, sir. I like how Jason just sang it. Here's $50,000 for you. Here's $50,000 question, sorry. Which treat invented in 1904 made its debut later that year at the St. Louis World Fair? A ice cream cone, B cotton candy, C bubblegum, or D jelly. Hmm. hmm. I think yeah, at dude. this point we would have to ask the audience. Yeah, let's, let's go, go for it. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, all three. Let's go. Uh, ask the audience. All right, audience. Let's see what the audience is. <laughs> I swear if it's A, it would be mad. 53 yeah, says A. D is 22%, C is 13%, and B is 12%. The audience said C. Shut up, Nels. No, I was torn between A and B. But... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Cause... Yeah. But uh, audience says ice cream cone. Cool. Let's go with the ice cream cone. Final answer. Mom! Bob, don't ask the money, the ice cream man is coming! Eddie Murphy. You <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Jason Myers. Happy right. birthday, Jason. For $100,000, here's the question. Here we go. In which state is the famed Mayo Clinic? A. Maryland. B. Minnesota, C. California, or D. Massachusetts? Hmm. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's torn between Maryland and Minnesota. I'm torn between those two. Want a 50 50? I'll call to the phone a friend. You know, let's save the 50-50 for later. Let's let's call the friend. Let's, let's call the friend. Alright, who you want to call from the MVG audience? Uh, we're going to call on Mr. Uh, Leota. Mr. Leota, are you there? Mr. Leota, are you there? Present. Alright, bef- uh, don't answer this yet. Let the phone a friend on the game count. And then when they get the answer, uh, see if you agree or disagree with them. Right. Oh, it actually worked this time. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. I know, right? Sometimes it does that. So. <laughs> Mercy. Take it all along. It's A. Alright, Mer. Okay. Not yet, not yet, not yet. When you hit, when you see the disconnect, then you can give your reply. 
I'm 58% sure. Disconnect. All right. What do you say, Mr. Leota? Uh, well, I think the photo friend needs to learn a little lesson in geography because it, the Mayo Clinic is in Minnesota. You agree with the game from a friend, Mark Leota, or yourselves? You know what? I feel like the former friend. Yeah, he's over 50%, but then again, there's that 42% margin of error. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, like if, it was, if it was more than 58%, I would have gone with the, with the in game phone of friend, but. Uh. I, I say Minnesota. Uh, we've only got forty five thousand to lose on this. Forty five thousand. Minnesota. I'll answer. Most probably. It's it's been flawed. It's been. It's just all. I'm gonna tell you this. Nails would have beat your asses if you got this wrong. Cause you got right. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's wrong twice, actually. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well. Hey, y'all, y'all, at least y'all two brought a lifeline with y'all for this part. It's time Ooh. to go into the next dimension. Now, Paul made it all the way. Can y'all make it all the way yourselves? Because remember, you have five more questions. And you have two new lifelines, which is the ask the uh, the three wise experts, aka ask the host also, and the double dip. All right. Remember, you use the double dip, you get two choices, and you have to uh, basically you have to answer the question once you use it. Yep. All right, for half a million dollars, here we go. What object is at the feet of the Statue of Liberty? A sword, B broken chain, C floor de lis, or D open door? Open door. <laughs> is it a sword or broken? Hmm. Only I've ever visited the Statue of Liberty. I've never been there, so eh. I know she's got the torch in one hand, the book in the other hand. Her feet. Uh, only been to New York that had a feet fetish be in the business. But I know she was a gift. I know she was a gift from France, so Florida Lee would make sense. True. They don't want to do this right out of the gate, but 50 50. Yeah, I mean, we got two other lifelines. 50 50, yeah. using two, uh, taking 22 of the wrong answers, leaving one correct answer in an incorrect answer. Broken chain and four of these. Oh, that makes it worse. Damn it. It's not a broken chain or four of these. Okay, let's, let's think, Jason. Let's think. God ah. oh, oh, damn it, Jimmy. You would have been on the uh, Statue of Liberty, right? You would have been shown something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes? Or can you mute, please? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking okay. broken shown. Because although it was a gift from France, but like, it would have been shown to Florida Statue. Like all the pictures and history. Yeah, but Florida Lee wouldn't be that prominent on the statue as well. So they like broke a chain. I think we would have seen that in pictures, unless they were scared of it. True. Oh God! It is a Statue of Liberty. Liberty being freedom, free from the chain. Oh, that could work too. Oh God! Okay, let's let's think on the Statue of Liberty. What what would be a good symbol of liberty? Because if, if liberty means freedom, then I would assume broken chain. I would assume that. 
Uh, James. Yes. You said we can't use double dip on this. You so can. You can. We, we can? Yes. We were giving ways to uh, two uh, lifelines and the 50 50 is null and void. I don't want to. I don't want to bomb out. <laughs> okay, look. If we use this and we inadvertently get the, get the wrong answer first, I'm, I'm gonna be mad, and then we'll be like, "Well, we just wasted two life lines for nothing." Oh well. Okay. Like I mean, we wouldn't be the first ones to do it. We won't be the last ones. Yeah, that's true. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna flip a coin in my mind. Heads, we go with B. Tails, we go with C. Oh, there, my mood. All right. I'm going with Bravo. He's going with Bravo. The broken chain. Final. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's look. If we lose out, we're going to go down one more so then we that much for drop. If only you can see my face right now. Pain it is. It's like internal now, pain. Now, we obviously it. know it's not going to be an open door because we've ever seen a big old damn open door. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's not a sword because you would have seen the sword. Mm. Yep. Honestly, with a Florida Lee, you can, but this is not the ones, it's not the Saints, and. <laughs> As you mentioned, liberty means freedom, and freedom means broken chain. Yeah, see, yeah, you said that just <laughs> for what oh, million dollars. Here we go. Look yourself. Visit the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Which of these Academy Awards was not won by the 1939 film Born with the Wind? A. Best um, Actor. B, best actress, C, best supporting actress, or D, best picture. I'm torn between two answers. If you're torn between two answers, we can double dip, if you wish. So I'm between best actress and best picture. Yep, those may be the two. Shit. So, if with those two answers and we get a bit more than great, we did the right thing. If not, we dropped 900 grand. Oh, sorry, 400 grand. So. Remember, you also have the three wise people slash ask the host. I don't know mm -hmm. if the I don't know the three wise experts gonna help us. I wanna say that You don't later. you don't think I can help you out too? I mean if there was a host option up there I would have picked it. We can, no, well, I, I he's saying, saying he's saying that the ex as the expert is basically ask the host. Well I'm feeling like a jackass and I've just watched the past two of <laughs> You know you know what? Jason, do you want to ask the experts, or are you want to do the double? I'm the Orleans brother. What you got? All right, let's see what the experts say first. Um, stick. If it if it's beard, they say I'm work. They're thinking about it. Come on, experts, don't let us they down. They say A. Oh fuck! How sure are you? But how sure? <laughs> <laughs> you say we're not sure. That's 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 kind of downplaying it. It's just yep. useless. Don't say it. Don't dare say it. Well, right now they're, they're not saying. Sure. They're okay. very sure. They're very sure. It's a. Hey, what do you say, Baba? I will tell you this. They did win best. Uh, Gone with the Wind did win best picture and best actress. Okay, I, so we went the other direction. I'm just gonna tell First. you this: I don't think they want best actor, because I don't think the actor won Academy Award. Travesty. <laughs> Shame. Okay, Shame. so wise people say it's best actor, and the Warren's brother says it's best actor. We say it's best actor. Final. Come on. Best actor, give us a million dollars, please. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jesus and now for two point five million dollars. Yeah, With one lifeline. <laughs> Who was the God. first woman to receive a Pulitzer Prize for fiction? I'm out. A book. <laughs> B. Edward Wharton. C. Will Carter. Ooh. Or D. Margaret. Oh, right. So we only have. Okay. <laughs> You want to walk away with a million, or you want to take a shot for double gold? <laughs> it's fiction which involves literature, and that is my worst subject ever. You you can tie Russ if you I do mean, walk away with a million. I will gladly tie Russ. I will agree with my partner. That's, we're gonna walk away. <laughs> we're gonna. You, walk you, away. you know he's gonna break. If you it had don't had mean it. shit if I don't know the subject. <laughs> if you yeah. had, if you had a choice, what would that have said? When in doubt on the test, I say C. When in doubt, say C. What's my guess? If it wasn't that, you have said C. I would have said Pro Buck. All right. We're, we're uh, all right. Okay. I hope if we use the double today and see if it's a quarter. Okay. Oh! Well, okay. well, well, you made the right decision. We were, so we're good. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey. hey, y'all two win a million dollars. I'll tell well, you what we, we do. <laughs> y'all not sharing it, I'm going to give each of you a million dollars. So. Okay, that's good. Okay, right. I need to invest in a hot dog. <laughs> Man, I, I tell you, this was a very exciting episode of Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. We did give away twelve million dollars, thirteen oh, million, sorry, 30, thirteen million dollars since we had a pair. So, geez. that's true though. Thirteen million dollars. Wow. I have to ask uh ask our producer over there, uh, Michael Gentry, if we can borrow some money from him. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of money to give away, but hey, it's my birthday, why not? So, we'll see you next time when we do probably another episode of Randy, but something, something fun. Huh? <laughs> see you next time when he wants to be a super millionaire. Goodbye, everybody.